Olivia brought this tea just for you. Oh. She's gonna take care of Michael's room. She already made the call. The contractor will be there first thing in the morning. Oh, great. I love having her around. Yeah, she's very efficient. Mm -hmm. And reassuring. I'm doing the right thing. But what if Michael doesn't want his room changed? You know, what if he's mad when he sees it? You know, I ran into this kid named Zach Sterling the other day. Zach was in Michael's class. Oh. Okay. I mean, I barely even recognized him. I couldn't believe it. I mean, they changed so much at this age. Even Zach's voice was different. It wasn't a little boy anymore. Yeah. I remember when my voice changed. Now I was afraid to talk to the girls for about a year. <gasps> I think we're just gonna have to prepare ourselves, you know. I mean, Michael's gonna be different, you know. He's not gonna be the same boy he was. Yeah. Hey, guys. Hey. hey Mike, is this, is this a bad time? No, not at all. Yeah. Did Sonny fill you in on everything? Yeah, yeah, he did. I mean, it's like science fiction, what the doctors did. I know. It took a lot of guts. I mean, from them and for you to allow it to go through. Oh, well, you know, we just said what needed to be done. Yeah. So, um, when's he gonna wake up? Soon. Soon. Morgan came along, I learned from my mistakes with Michael. It's gonna be the same for this little girl. You know, she's gonna have two parents that are gonna give her everything she wants and everything she needs. Yeah, she will. Yeah. You notice any change? Oh. No. How's he look? He's stable. You said that earlier. Do you have any idea what's going on, Patrick? You asked me how he looks, and I answered you truthfully. I know. But you seem a lot more serious than you were this morning. I expected Michael to be weak by now. If he doesn't regain consciousness in the next few hours, I'm concerned that he never will.